two French princes Snap came old dirty bastards Spent half their life off their nut getting plastered Two decades later after they first met Now chat is shit on your TV set It's Scotty Money, Scotty Money Scotty Money, Scotty Money Scotty Money <laughs> we can't even repeat that, can we? I do kind of, I do kind of say those things like only be breath alone. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we weren't recording when we we, we we said them sort of things. But anyway, how you doing? This is uh, Scotty. That's Motta. This is the second episode of the Man Cave. Last week we went over masculinity. <laughs> Did you read some of the comments? People got proper, proper upset. Nah, I knew that. You know, because like. It was a bit off topic for us for usual. Yeah. And also, there's like, we have like, you know, a lot of our viewers who support supportive of whatever we do and subscribe to our Patreon. There's a link in the description, we appreciate that. But then there's other people who might sort of dip in and out and then other people who might just come across it. And there was a few people who were like, look, what's your problem with Andrew Tate? What's your problem with Jordan Peterson? And, I, you know, we sort of went off on a little bit of a tangent and I was yeah. like, look, if you like those guys and what they do, fair enough. There's certain things I've seen them say that I didn't agree with. And I think that upset a few bods, but everyone's entitled Which to their opinion. Which is cool, yeah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But we decided that we're just going to try and go unscripted because when we first started this, we are going unscripted, aren't we? Um, just to prove it. Just, 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 just to prove it. Just to prove never had, Me and you ever had a script. No, but we had like a done. direction and some sort of, you really? know. Someone said something before we went on stage. <laughs> stage? What? Stage. Uh, <laughs> Well, all the moons ago when we were doing this in uh, my mum's bedroom, yes, uh, we decided we we're just going to do this for for a laugh to get through the that there pandemic, and we who, survived. Who was, uh, who was your pal who took them photos for us? Um, I don't. I'm not seeing him for a while, but I did get an, an email saying you better give me five bags or else. Wow. So um, yeah. Uh, oh, you mean the photo? They were photos. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> them photos. Um, they they were from uh, we photo. Using. Yeah. Photo dot jacko. F O T O dot jacko. Make sure you're checking out. But yeah, so we, we, we started this by just waffling shit, basically. So we're going to continue down that train of thought. I've I not seen Jay all weekend. Look, stop fucking interrupting me. We've had this conversation. Oh, I have to get the burner accounts to go. Like right. Like <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love how you fall into that. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just throw that voice in. Like, you <laughs> shut up. You have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. What was it? Was, it, was, it, was it you that had a row once with your mate and he told you to delete his number? No. Nah. Do me a favor, delete my number. Yeah, well, he was drunk, but he didn't mean it like. I don't remember that. Maybe. I'm sure you told me about it once, because I always say it. Delete me, my, like, maybe. Me, delete my number. Maybe when he rings me, he'll say, oh, like, I can't be up with you tomorrow, or whatever. I'll go, well, do me a favour, yeah. Delete my number. <laughs> don't ever speak to me again. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> I don't think it was you, actually. I think I was giving it a no, lift. No, that sounds I think I was, I was giving a lift to someone, and uh, they were drunk, and they said it. They was leaving a message for someone. They said, do me a favour, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Delete my number and don't ever ring me again. Um, have a good weekend, United one. Is that is that your sort of you know your basic? Do you know what it is, right? I don't want to make this all about United. Talk about United enough, but when it's the early kickoff and United lose mm. or draw in a game we should win, and let's have it right, drawing away at Southampton would have been like a loss. Then it wrecks the weekend because it it's my, it's my work life as well. My, as my yeah, and, and then I've got to go home. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. Um, Obviously, as a fan, we'd have been annoyed. Then we'd do content around it, use it for the watch along and the post-match stuff. That's annoying. Then you go home and chat to my family and my missus, everyone's a United fan. Then you go online and everyone wants to chat to you about it and, you know, call you out on something you predicted. Like, you said you were going to win, Jay. Yeah, you dickhead. Yeah. Which is fair enough. Um, and it just, yeah, you just... And then also, oh, you know, there's, there's Newcastle versus Wolves are on or Chelsea versus Bournemouth or whatever. North London derby. You don't want to watch any of that because you're fuming with football. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It kind of puts a bit of a spanning works. I had a good weekend. The other slight annoying thing, I know it's first world problems. I was going to go for a run on Sunday and I couldn't because it's absolutely levering it down. Oh, it's horrendous. And it? I thought, I'm not running that because I'm I was, I was, I was counterproductive. I'll end up full of cold or something. I went out in it, man. Did you? Yeah, I went out walking the dog. Uh, not my dog, my mate's dog, my, uh, Michael. He's got like this Rottweiler puppy. Yeah. Beautiful uh, bonnie, it's called. He said, well, we'll go out Sunday morning. So like, what time is half seven? It's early, half seven. Early, so it's Sunday morning. So uh, where my new gaff is, it's like um, it's like South Manchester. So we went. He goes, we'll just keep walking to the next bridge. All right, next bridge closed. 
next bridge closer. We couldn't get over to, to, to the other side oh, where we were really? supposed to be. We, we walked five and a half miles in that torrential. Oh. torrential. The dog is built like a brick shit house. Yeah. And it was like sh shivering on the way oh, back and stuff mate, like that. But yeah, it was good, man. 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was good. And then, um, yeah, moving gaff and that. So that's nice. So like moving into a new place and stuff. What's like. it like, man? New beginnings? New, moving to a new area. Uh, I don't know. Do you go around to the neighbours? Like, and say, hey, How are you, you know, doing? do you want some sugar? That sounds like a bit hey. suggestive. I don't, yeah, I, I, especially I, I, if you say it like that. Do you want some sugar? We'll you turn know, up in your suit. Like, I go, this hey. is a funeral suit. Stop yeah, making right, I'm not. I'm just saying, because people will be like, he's wearing a suit. You yeah. know what I mean? Turn up in your suit. You go, hey, you want some sugar? <laughs> and pow. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just yeah. Go, Hang on, I'll just ask me husband. <laughs> <laughs> Keith! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? <laughs> We've got another one. <laughs> Keith yeah. comes out with just an apron or clothes on. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah, we want the sugar yeah, coming in. <laughs> um, I, I could sort of keep myself to myself with the neighbours, but it's different when like your kids mingle and that. Sometimes you end up inadvertently getting. Yeah, you know, getting it's a quiet place. street, so they like the kids ain't being around you because someone's like just got in there. But it's they're like quite like um, it's a safe street for kids to play. Oh, is it? Imagine that's that nice because you've got your kids are similar age to mine, aren't they? Yeah, and that's a consideration like when you, any area you've got are the kids going to be alright playing out because. We're in our forties. We're not going to be playing out. Well, I hope not. Anyway, what are you on about? Well, you might go and play a bit on of Kirby a Saturday. Yeah, right? oh, I, I, I was teaching the kids Kirby. Didn't well, we? Yeah, some of those girls near right? us that play Kirby. Old school, man. I know. You guys love that. Yeah. Um, but obviously, your kids are going to go out. You don't want them hanging around with chaps. What? You don't want your kids hanging around with chaps. That's, like, that's in an area. such elitist. It's not elitist. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about your kids hanging around with people like us when we was young. I did what all the time. You. They came from you. I know. Right, but you want better for your own kids, don't you, than what you were like? You, I don't want you hanging around anyone who's like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. I don't wish I'd taken that advice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're one of your daughters rocked up with someone like us as a boyfriend, oh you my, would be absolutely oh, yeah, fuming, yeah. Scott. In, 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 in a suit and grey hair, I'd be like, well, I understand, <laughs> but you know, it's a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I do. And I think I'm kind of glad and relieved that my kids are all a little bit geeky. Yeah, See, but people don't do side. that now anymore, do they? They're sort of socialising and shit. In what way? In the same like, I, but the whole neighbours thing that you don't you don't have that. I don't remember it in my day, but you know what? You look at Coronation Street, that whole local community and stuff, and everyone like yeah. chats in the local shop. I don't. At least I don't. I'm yeah, not a little aware bit of it. Round. Yeah, but in like they've got like a bakery cafe around the corner for me. Okay. It's a similar sort of thing. There's certain like my missus chats with a few people on the street because they do like. The exchange stuff like some woman came around the other day forgive me i forgot her name lovely woman and dropped some books off for the kids because she's like she had all these books like you know roald dahl and horrid horrid Henry, horrid, horrid Henry, yeah 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 and stuff like that because her missus had spoken and my daughter and her son know each other so there's a little bit of that that goes on and you have that stuff on like marketplace or whatever well not mm. marketplace in the group chat like i've got a table if anyone wants it or gym or that stuff what makes me laugh about our estate is like it's got like a group chat and it's always kicking off on there do you know what I mean? It was funny once, right? Because there was these two guys on it, and um, they were walking down like this estate, and it's always one of them. Because our estate is a new, it's a new estate. Like yeah. it's only been around for a few years. I think it, it was built during lockdown or just before lockdown. It opened in lockdown, and it wasn't even completed, so it didn't like get finished being built all of it to like 2021 or whatever. So like, there's this group chat. I'm not in it, but Mrs. gives me like info, and um, everyone's in there like, oh, have you seen this? Uh, you know gang of whoever on the estate or oh, just letting anyone know if they're missing a parcel one's been left mine it's got no address on you know that sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. boring nonsense and then um, there was this thing once where it was like has anyone seen these two guys like they're walking around the estate and like they keep going up to, 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 to houses to doors seeing them going up to a couple of doors and that they're looking dodgy and then it, it kind of escalated from people talking about them, saying like, oh, I don't know who they are, or they look a bit dodgy, to people getting really insulting. Like, you know, oh, look at the state of them. Like, they're probably looking for somewhere to, to buy some decent clothes. Or, you know what I mean? Like, getting really, like, narky and, and horrible. Anyway, they were in the group chat. They'd moved on to the estate. So one of them's popped up and go, excuse me, that's me and my partner you're talking about. And we're only looking at ring doorbells because we're thinking of getting one. And everyone's like, oh my God, oh, I'm so sorry. But you've got, a, you're there oh. with your own name and like number in this group chat or whatever, having slagged them off. 
and it was proper awkward. My missus was screenshotting it and sending it to did, me. Did, did, you, did, did she miss say anything? She didn't say, she was just watching oh, from the farm. Like, yeah, yeah, that's God, the best it was, yeah, it was yeah, quality. Jesus. But like, she's always like, when we first lived there, there was a couple of times when like, I think people flagged up when I was in there. I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you know, there's not many man them around our estate. And it was like, yeah. this was, my missus was straight on there. Yes, that's my partner who lives here. <laughs> Here's a link to his YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. But it was a little bit of that. But um, yeah, it got a bit, bit. I, I mad neighbours in that though, weren't it? Like, like, yeah. like, what would you do in the situation if the neighbours was knocking on and because you were making too much noise when you're having sex? What would be, what would be your response? Um, <laughs> would, 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 would your response be go around and, and, and um, post like a letter saying sorry? Post a letter saying, saying sorry, sorry, sorry for, for interrupting my annual <laughs> sex. No, 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 no. For, for making, I'm only joking. For, for making, it's for, at least three times a year. Go on, hat trick. Yeah. Uh, for, for making the noise. If I was making noise, having sex, and someone came and knocked on and said, can you keep it down? Uh, yeah, would you go and apologize the following? No, 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 God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't remember Absolutely the agony of no. that we were... We had, yeah, what like happened that. with your mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, on. Yeah, my mate. Oh, no, so my mate knocked on like... Uh, no, and then dropped something through the letterbox and stuff and said, apologize. <laughs> and then I think they became friends. I don't know, it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, <laughs> but neighbors, eh? <laughs> what I like, though, on them group chats, have you seen them like, there's one, for like where I used to live in Earlham, where they have like the, 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 the Earlham and Kelly's have Facebook page. It's always kicking off on there. And what you'll have is like, someone will say, oh, there's a group of lads near the train station throwing stones at everyone. Be careful. They look like a right bunch of chavs. And then you'll have someone else will pop up and say, those chavs are my sons and they're not fucking <laughs> hurting anyone, you stupid bitch. And it'll kick off. Do you know what I mean? If you're ever bored, right, honestly, Go on one of those like little town or Facebook groups. Yeah, like, they've got like gossip. Yeah, it'll be like something like whatever your town's called, like the Ermston, you know, neighbors group or whatever. And you have to sort of, one of those where you have to apply to go in, like, can I join? And then the admin has to let you in. Yeah. But once you're in there, honestly, you think it'd be shit. It's not, it's gold. It's all, every every little town group is the same. Where you get people start kicking off of each other and arguing and being all fucking nah. It's assy. like it's like, it's like what used to, people do, used to talk over the, the back wall, innit? Yeah. That's the same. Yeah, that like, used like, to be that, you know what I mean? Having a sig over the uh, back wall. Uh, don't air uh, your dirty laundry and all yeah, that. Yeah, I love Put it all over Facebook so everybody else can see it and slag them off while they're in the Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, you loon. <laughs> I love that, me, uh, honestly. Yeah. But I don't like being in it. Sometimes I just like to see what's going on. Like, my missus will tell me and that because. I don't like to join in. And you, spill, you get rattled and you think, I can't have that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say something. But it's always like stupid shit as well around that way. Like, oh, the kids are playing football in the top end of the street. So fucking mad. You were speaking about the kids earlier on before we started filming and stuff about this, uh, the how you're not down with the, the new lingo. And uh, yeah, what man. is it? Because uh, producer Ethan said that about, about having some riz. Yeah, and was asking riz. me what my riz is like. My kids were taking a mick out of me saying, dad, you got no riz. And I didn't know what that meant. And it meant like, you got no game kind of thing, which right. is, you know, the jokes on them because I fucked their mum. But <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have any riz, you yeah. wouldn't be here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you want to yeah. shut your mouth. Um, but I didn't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ain't got no riz. Like, did, 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 like, did you ever have any riz? I, I remember, remember having any game when we were working in Mali and stuff. Fuck off, bro. You were always 11, though. Like, you, your angle for getting people into the bar was picking them up because they were pissed and, and ferrying them in. Like some predator, no. I had the gift of the academy. I was a bit. Yeah, you know, was, it wasn't my, like, wasn't my You plots. two get in my bar, fishbowl, shot, shot, shot. Yeah, so, it was all that one. I used to say, come in, like, it was a load of girls. I used to say to them, just come in, you don't have to pay for any drinks. Yeah. But just sit at the front, and then they'd be like, well, not two, I'd say, fuck all that, it's not two for one, it's literally Whatever like, you one want. for free. And they'd be like, it can't be real. And it, I'd be like, it is, come on. And then you get them to sit near the front. You remember, you used to have that outdoor bit and give them a fishbowl or whatever for nothing. And my boss, he's go, oh, Malaka, what are you doing? Real? And I was like, shut up, you dick. Just yeah, trust me. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you get lads and you go, look, there's loads of women in there coming in. And they'd be like, right. So we were at the top end. Of the, yeah, yeah. The, Bar Nova, wasn't it? Where you yeah, worked. we were at the top end where it was like, um, the, the main bit was further down, so if you get it busy in your bit, like, yeah. it looks busy, people will come in. So you stick That's it, no one wants to go in a dead bar, man. It's like, remember, yeah. remember Las Vegas, Las Vegas at the bottom of the strip? It's always dead until the yeah. work is finished. Yeah, the work is. And then we'll get there like five, six in the morning and Mate. stuff. Do you remember when we lived, when we lived, in, the, we lived in, the, in the hills? Yeah. And that was grim, <laughs> wasn't it, man? We lived in the hills, right, in, in Malia, like right up in the hills, and it was cheap. Yeah. And it was like a workers' cheap. apartment, like all the workers used to live there. But the trouble was, right, if you got on your moped 
fine, yeah, obviously. Get on your moped, obviously there's a few scrapes and accidents. <laughs> <laughs> a few? Yeah, 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 few, yeah. 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 But if you got them on your moped, yeah, no no drama. It's just up the hill. Yeah, right. but if you didn't get a lift on a moped or you didn't have a moped and you had to walk, and don't forget, you've probably been at work, right? You probably, me and you- 12 hour shift. 12 hour shift and like we were rare. Most people in the day didn't drink, but me and him did. Yeah. So we start drinking like, like two in the afternoon or whatever when we got up. So you've been drinking for like 16 hours by this point, like it's six in the morning, seven in the morning. Cause you've been working till like 4 a.m. or whatever, 3 a.m. Then you've gone out after work and then you've got to walk up that hill. Yeah. When you're like, Lagging, honestly. I Ma just, I just tried to pull. Did you? And I'd, and I'd like, where are you? Where's your hotel? Just that. And then just not just even, not, not even just tried to get the ride. Like just, you know, just felt like, is it quicker than the taxi? I, do you know um, what I mean? Just yeah, I'll sleep, I'll like, I'll sleep like, on a lounger. Yeah, I do that. I like, just up. wake up and like, ah, I don't know where I'm I am. Where am I? Like, I'm, I'm in, on some lounger. And then get up and go to work. <laughs> 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 when you wearing that yesterday? Yeah, but I jumped in the pool. It was honestly working abroad that summer was probably one of the best things I ever done. Did you ever nick a moped? What in Greece? Yeah. yeah. Did you? Because yeah. it was like you just tried. Uh, yeah. You yeah, used yeah, a spoon and, and or the, the quads. The quads. Yeah. I never did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not just saying that. No, because the Greek police were the Greeks. Oh, the Greeks. Not even not. the Greek police. It was Lads the Greek. Lads I knew came over right from Houston. Yeah, didn't come back. Nah, they were rowdy, right? And then they nicked a load of quads. That was it. They hired a load of quads, mm. and then they fucked off of them. Didn't give them back. And then they realised when they had him that he could start him with like a spoon or whatever. So when they gave him back, then they went and got him again. And I think they had to get off early from the island, like they were gonna get done. Yeah. And I was like, I remember that used to happen quite a lot because it wasn't just the police. It was, I can't remember the name of the sort of group, but they used to run like Malia Town Centre in it. And then if you were kicking off, you went like, you went missing in the hills and had Honestly, to make your, make it your own way. It was, it was yeah, great money. Like, you had happened. to be careful that there's a few, I remember having a few like, telling a few people like, I remember when myself in trouble, like can't be doing it with them. Like, this wasn't even in Malia, this was in uh, Kavos. I think this might've been the year before we went and then um, there was a few of us, but it was Nathan and his and his brother Joe, and they were both black lads. And um, obviously, the, you know, there were the racial I don't say racial tensions, but there was a like you know there was a, there was a, an air of racism around certain people who worked in the in the bars and yeah. stuff. But uh, Nathan's younger brother was like 16 at the time. Remember the penalty shootouts that he used to Oh, yeah, mate, with them crop balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, ball, the balls were either dead heavy or like, you know, or they were flat. Do you know the only time I won one of them? Mm. When a bottle of champagne, I threw it all up. We <laughs> <laughs> were being like on Danny, right? Danny is a Spurs fan. I remember him. I think Danny Stairs, I think his name was. And um, and he he's like, I think we, he, we shared it or he did it, like the penalties. Anyway, he won, he won this bottle of champagne. And I remember downing it, like, hey, champagne, hey. And that's when I was one. And just threw it back up. <laughs> Honestly, it was rank. So Joe's jo jo taking his penalty, but it was somebody else's turn. So he just run up pissed as a 16 year old kid. Scored, started cheering like mad. Anyway, the guy who owns the, the finger, the penalty shoot, I think, just fucking lamped him, 16 year old, mm, knocked mate. him out. Nathan's got into a scrap. The police have come. They put frigging uh, Joe in the boot <laughs> of the police car. And then, Nathan, and then Nathan's like, just put him in the passenger seat and all this. Anyways, like they were like, uh, they put him in the boot, man. That's scary. And, and then, and then why they put him in the boot? Why yeah. they put him in the back seat? Where they're and, taking him? And then drove, then they drove him off to, to hospital and stuff like that. And then um, I'm not too sure what happened. But the following morning, Nathan came back with Joe and he was proper pissed off because the girl that he'd had his eye on had yeah. spent the night in my bed while he was in hospital with oh, his brother. Mate, every, every cloud. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> what a penalty. <laughs> He was screwing as well because he came walking past Really? Oh, I, I, hate I, 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 I hate them once yeah, when you try to get into an old deal when you're away and then all your old your mates does. Yeah. Did you have an old deal romance? You'll have to talk about it. No, do you know what? I say this to, I say this all the time, right? And people think I'm exaggerating. Like, obviously, when you're working out there, there's, there's a lot going on. But I was always about getting levered. Yeah. I always was, man. Yeah. I was always about just getting levered out of my head or twisted or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So th there was never like. Holy, holy romance. Yeah. Considering some of the workers out there were dogs, like they, they slept with so many girls. I was never really on that one. I was always on about like, I mean, he just ab <laughs> but ab getting absolutely Off. out of my head. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, honestly, yeah. I just, yeah. I don't remember seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Telling yeah. me for, I was there, I lived with you. Oh, some of the places though, before I found that, um, that co cause you got me on the complex, but before I found that, I can't remember the guy I was living with. He goes, I don't, we don't need a key. And he said, just get rid of the cockroaches. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, there's cockroaches in here. And I stayed one night and I woke up and I was like, really? Oh, I was like, fuck this. We, yeah, we had a rough one um, that was half built above a bar that they were building. 
because we got there in April. It was proper forget. feral, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it was so it was Lord grim. of the Flies sort of thing. Me and Jay, I went over with my boy Jay, and then we moved from there. To, I think we went to there from there to Panorama Villa Panorama. That was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which was. What up was she called? Oh, we used to call her Vassis Das. Vassis Das. Vassis Das. So she'd say, Vassis Das. Vassis this. Vassis Das. Um, but it was good because it was all work because everyone knew each other. It was proper chill. It was, it was top it, community it, it vibe. Was, it was, Remember man. the Peter star there? Which one? When, um, so Peter, we, we're allowed to say his name on here. It's like 20 years ago now. Well, that weren't his real name anyway. Oh, John right. Well, anyway, yeah. So he called him Painter because he had a top look like he'd been painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he, he was the DJ at Barn Over, one where you were. Oh, that was the, yeah. Because so, I was so he, he used to always. Senior bar after yeah, that. yeah. Sorry, Barn Over was a karaoke bar. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. So, he used to always, like, because um, he was the DJ, he used to always get uh, quite a lot of the girls. Because he used to say when he asked, because like, it's karaoke bar, you'd request the song to yeah, sing yeah. on karaoke. And he'd say to them, his chat up line was, um, if you want that song, you gotta give me a kiss. Yeah, like, yeah. 99 sounds like 100, they'll do it. Cause yeah, because on all the and, and, and fish yeah. bowls and all fish bowls and fun. Anyway, so we ended up a lot of times bringing people back to to the, the Panorama apartments, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but he used to always like celebrate it, and a lot of the, the girls who were workers was like taking the piss about about how he was using women every single night and blah blah blah. And then one night. He, he, he made himself out to have this like top shagger, but he was more like a sort of pansy sort of romancer. And do you know what I mean? He'd set all candles around the room. Oh, was it when it was yeah, boys yeah. yeah, No, no, it wasn't even boys on. It was Titanic. It was My Heart Will Go On more. Really? Or, or, or Backstreet Boys or something like I that. I thought it was um, Tracy Chapman, but the boys oh, on oh, version. Oh, right. So we basically, baby, can yeah, I hold yeah, you yeah, baby, can I hold you yeah. tonight? Yeah, it was, yeah. No, was that boys on? Yeah. So basically, he'd made him out to be like this, like fucking proper alpha shagger and stuff. And we'd all come back level at like two three o'clock in the morning he's set candles and he's playing baby can i hold you tonight so of course we got a video you said, <laughs> wait him i wasn't there got a video this. camera right. and then and, and then filmed it and he obviously caught us and then we played it in the bar as well afterwards. i think so yeah, yeah i remember i remember watching footage of it yeah it was yeah <laughs> funny man <laughs> baby can i hold different times man wow you know anyway what? i'm glad we did that like little mallet thing though innit? yeah that was good man the mallet cave yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know long we'll be rolling for now. We've got anything else to talk about. Um, no, I think now. How long's that, Ethan? Twenty-one minutes. Twenty-one, 21 seconds minutes is to go. Perfect. Right. Next week we're talking about. Have you watched the bear yet? Can you watch the bear? I'm watching week? Presumed Innocent. Nah. What's what do you that? mean, nah? What is that? It's like it's based like this is, is it someone who, someone who's guilty. That's the thing, innit? It's based on that the, the book by Isaac Scott Chirot, and there was a film with Harrison Ford. This is the show that's on Apple Plus. It's um, Jake Gyllenhaal. And it's oh, I like Jake the Gyllenhaal. The attorney or the prosecutor and his colleague is found murdered, and then he gets arrested for a murder. So his former colleagues right. are prosecuting him, and his former boss is defending him. And there's a big like, did he do it? Didn't he? It's all very. And he's having, he was having an affair with this woman. Um, this the woman. So whether Jake Gyllenhaal's done it or not, is yeah. done right? I like. I'm mean, a big fan it's, of Jake Gyllenhaal. It's, it's it's good. The trouble I've got with it, right, is yep. I've seen the film with Harrison Ford, which is based on the book that this is based on. So, so I know how it ends. Right, nah, my right. missus doesn't. And I'm thinking, is this going to end the same? Because if it is based on the book, then surely it will. Unless they've done like yeah, a twist where sometimes it. they'll get a book and they'll just say, right, we're going to change that. Disagree with that ending. Yeah. I, I'd probably do that, you know. Just you? Yeah, because if, it, if the film was pretty successful, then everyone's expecting that, isn't it? So, so you you just know, like, yeah, your just version of the Godfather. With the horse lives. <laughs> <laughs> the horse lives the horse, Grand yeah, National. They, they, yeah, uh, but I'm watching the bear. Anyway, some people have got in touch um, with me and said, why are you not on social media anymore, Scott? And I'll tell you the gods and the truth is two reasons. I bought this like freedom app thing to try and reduce my numbers and my hours or whatever, because it was stupid. And I've set it to a way that I only can get on my social media now between, <laughs> this is stupid, quarters 12 at night and 10 to 12 at night. I can literally, I've got like a five minute window and I've set it so I can't override it. And you and he gets pissed off because he goes, why have you not put the socials out? I said, I've never spoke to you like that. Man. Yeah, he has, he has. I can, you know, you can feel the aggression through WhatsApp. Right, it's, mine's more passive aggressive. Mine's more like, oh, I thought them socials would have been out by now. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, kind yeah, of thing yeah. I'll do, like. And then I'll mean? say to him, oh, sorry, I was inadvertently doing something else. Right, I've been Scott uh, That's been Motta, uh, and we shall see you soon. Uh, if he gives any more topics to the man cave, that's better unscripted, isn't it, I think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, see you in a minute.